A nuclear reactor generates heat in the core here. A series of pumps here and here send a constant flow of cooling water through the core. The core's heat turns the water to steam, and the steam spins the turbine here, and the result is electricity. But what if a power plant has no power? What if the power feeding the plant itself is disrupted? A blackout, equipment failure, or an attack by a foreign enemy? If there's no power, the pumps cannot move water through the core, and without water, the core overheats, the fuel melts down, in short, a nuclear disaster. The solution, three diesel fuel backup generators here. So, problem solved. No. Brikhanov knew that the problem was not solved at all. The backup generators took approximately one minute to reach the speed required to power the pumps and prevent a meltdown. And by that time, it would be too late. So we arrive at the safety test. The theory was this. If the facility lost power, the turbine which had been spinning would take some time to slow down and stop. What if you could take the electricity it was still generating and transfer it to the pumps? What if the dying turbine could keep the pumps working long enough to bridge the 60 second gap until the generators came on? <coughs> Any questions? No. Continue, please. To test this theory, the reactor is placed in a reduced power mode, 700 megawatts, to simulate a blackout condition. Then the turbines are turned off, and as they slowly spin down, their electrical output is measured to see if it's enough to power the pumps. The science is strong, but a test is only as good as the men carrying it out. And the first time they tried, they failed. The second time they tried, they failed. The third time they tried, they failed. And the fourth time they tried was April 26, 1986.